Donald Trump has officially filed a lawsuit against the federal government. And his attempt here is to prevent the FBI and the DOJ from being able to review the documents that they seized from his Mar-a-Lago residence. And of course, those are documents that he took with him from the White House to his Mar-a-Lago residence. And it pertains to classified and top secret documents that he should not have taken with him. And documents that he had lied to the DOJ about having at his residence. Now, Donald Trump filed this suit. He says that he would like a special court official to review them because he is concerned that the documents contain privileged information, privileged material that they should not have the ability to review. So, citing Trump's lead attorney, Jim Trusty, and two sources familiar with the matter, the suit argues that the court should appoint a special master usually a retired lawyer or judge because the FBI potentially seized privileged materials in its search and the Department of Justice should not itself decide what it can use in its investigation. The suit filed in US District Court for the Southern District of Florida (laughs) also requires the government to provide a more detailed receipt of property or for property and requires the government to return any item seized that was not within the scope of the search warrant. Um, So again, this is the search that happened at the Mar-a-Lago residence on August 8th. And we know very little about what exactly those classified documents entail. Uh, But there has been reporting indicating that some of those documents entail information about nuclear weapons. And they're so sensitive that you can only read them in a secure government facility. I also wanna just remind you all that Trump and his attorneys had lied to the federal government about the fact that he possessed these documents in the first place. They had given him or sent him a subpoena to turn the documents over two months prior to the raid happening. And his lawyer claimed that the documents didn't exist and of course, as we clearly see here, the federal government knew that was a lie and they conducted the raid. Jenk, uh, any initial thoughts? Yeah, what happened? Uh, I thought you guys thought uh, said that uh, Trump had done nothing wrong. So why is he desperately trying to hide the evidence? I mean, if you're, if I'm accused of something I didn't do, I don't hide the evidence. I scream it from the rooftops. Um, and by the way, this is stuff that's happened. Every once in a while, mainstream media will lie about me, and then I'll fight back uh, with significant strength. I don't go, no, 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 don't tell them about what my actual views. Don't, 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 don't reveal what I actually did. What happened, tough guy? Oh, it looks like you did do it, didn't you? Now, which leads me to another hilarious update from today about the same issue. To the degree to which he definitely had the nuclear secrets and was probably doing something wrong with them. You can tell from his son's quote from today. Donald Trump Jr. said, by the way, for the record, I'd say that if Donald Trump actually still had the nuclear codes, it'd probably be good. Really, hold on, he said, our enemies might actually be like, okay, maybe let's not mess with them. Why is Trump going to launch the nukes when he's not president? As usual, that makes no sense at all. But it doesn't matter, they're talking to Republican voters. So Republican voters are like, me like no sense. Me know Trump strong, me know that nuclear secrets, you're supposed to steal them from the government and maybe sell them. Why the hell else does he have them? They're the most hypocritical people in the world. So yeah, he's desperately trying to hide what he did. What a moron, you don't know that they're gonna keep track of the nuclear secrets. They're not gonna just let you walk out of the White House with them. So they've been asking for them back now for nearly two years. And this idiot thought he could hide them and do God knows what with them. And now even his son is admitting, well, I mean, if we did have the nuclear codes, it's like an OJ book. If we did have the nuclear codes, it wasn't to sell them to the Russians or the Saudis. No, no, it was because uh, the country's safer with us having the nuclear codes. Yeah, now the suit, according to the Guardian, Uh, that Trump filed also sought to draw attention to his continued suggestions that he's going to run for president in 2024. It's amazing that he hasn't just officially announced it. Let's be clear, he hasn't officially announced it. He keeps flirting with it. But nonetheless, in the suit, it states politics cannot be allowed to impact the administration of justice. Justice. President Donald Trump is the clear front runner 
and in the 2024 general election should he decide to run. Um, and then it says beyond that, his endorsement in the 2022 midterm elections has been decisive for Republican candidates. Mm, not necessarily, there have been a number of his candidates who uh, have not won in their primary races. And you, we all know that Dr. Oz is very likely to lose in his primary race for Senate, uh, not primary race, I'm sorry, he did. He won the primary race, but he's very likely to lose the general election for Senate in Pennsylvania. And so uh, whatever it is, I mean, these are all excuses meant to cover the fact that Donald Trump broke the law. He took classified and highly sensitive documents home with him when he wasn't supposed to. He then proceeded to lie about the fact that he had them in his possession. And again, anyone else who did something like that would deal with some severe consequences and as we know, based on the treatment of a number of whistleblowers like Edward Snowden, like Chelsea Manning. This country will rain terror on you if you dare to leak classified documents in an attempt to inform the American people of the criminality within our government. And so he should face the consequences. However, let me just make one more point, Cenk, and then you can go. I have thought about our carceral system and how it's not good at rehabilitating people. And so does it really make sense to seek prosecution of Donald Trump when we know that we don't have rehabilitative justice in place? It's a question to ask yourself. Okay, and it's taking a shot at other people in the middle of the story. Okay, so, but first of all, just back on point here for a second. There is a difference between progressives and the right wing, there just is. So the new owners of CNN will tell you, we can't tell the difference at all. We're just, what are we, news people? We're not hypocrites, we're honest. So if it happens to one of our own, we're super honest about it. So we've challenged Bernie Sanders many times, we've challenged the Just Democrats, a group I started many times. I did a video about burning down bridges with them, on and on. And when Hillary Clinton was running against the progressive wing against Bernie Sanders. We wanted Bernie Sanders to win so bad in 2016 and 2020. And Hillary Clinton, we couldn't stand, we thought it was a corporate Democrat, no change at all. And what did we do on the emails? We told you guys, look, she shouldn't have done that and there should be some consequences. But it's not nearly as big a deal as the Republicans are making it out to be. If she had actually tried to sell nuclear secrets or even had nuclear secrets, we would have clobbered her politically over that. And we would have been thrilled to do that, right? But instead, we were honest about our opponent. Why? Because we care about things that are true. And Republicans raise their hands over and over and go, I don't care. I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, here, last example, Hunter Biden. So they're like, oh yeah, what about Hunter Biden? As if he's like the most important political figure. But look, if he broke laws, I don't care about Hunter Biden. Put him in jail. I don't care at all. I don't care 1% about Hunter Biden. Who, why the hell would I want to protect Hunter Biden? One of the elites who seem to use his connections to try to get rich, okay? But when you turn it around the right wing, you go, how about Jared Kushner, who just took $2 billion from the Saudis while Trump's got the nuclear secrets in his basement? And the Saudis earlier said they really wanted to be able to buy nuclear weapons, and Trump was talking to them about it when he was president. Okay, we don't know that they sold it to the Saudis. I want to be clear, because again, we're honest. But if I was in your position, I'd be a little worried about it. And I would ask the question, why the hell did the Saudis just give Kushner $2 billion? That is so much more than anything Hunter Biden ever got. But no, the right wing will never ask that question. Instead, they'll say, yes, Jared Kushner, you could steal and rob from us all day long. You could do it from the worst people in the world and we'll never ever question you because you're connected to our authoritarian dictator leader that we love so much. Okay, right wing, have at it, but understand you're hopelessly dishonest. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.